This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to actually fix the midtones of your photos. So the midtone is basically where all the uh, color uh, data of your image lies in. So, for example, if your image is a little bit too green or a little bit too yellow, blue, and so forth, uh, that detail there of, of where it's at is, is can be corrected in the midtone. Now, uh, normally, uh, the way to fix the midtone um, is a little bit tricky in Photoshop. Usually, it's a little bit visual. You kind of We've shown before uh, how to use variations and, and you kind of study the image and you say right this image looks a little bit green and so you add an opposite color to green and you try to bring that color back in. But if you want to be precise about it without much of, of a guesswork and trying to estimate and test things out, if you want to be precisely correct about it then this is the method to use. So right, so what we're going to do is add a new layer and in this new layer we're going to select 50% uh, uh, gray. So we're going to go for 0, 0, and 50. So there we are. So 0, 0, and 50. We have a perfect 50% gray. We're going to fill that in. So that's Alt and Backspace. right? And now we're going to change our blend mode. Now just bear with me here. I'm not crazy. But we're going to change our blend mode to something we haven't actually used that is called Difference. And what Difference is doing here is it's showing anything that is different from that layer, right? So that's why you get like the blues here and the yellows and so forth. Those are things that are different from the blue layer. But there are things in that layer that are showing up in black. And things that show up in black mean that the difference is, uh, there is no difference in the image. So what we've essentially trying to find here is an area of the image that is 50% gray. With that 50% gray, we can then correct our image. But we need to find that point in the image, or whichever points in the image, are exactly 50% gray. That is the, the crucial point of this. And of course, to help us here in selecting that black area, we're going to add another step to this. We're going to add in another adjustment layer called Threshold. And in Threshold, we're just going to move this over here to the left, making our whole image white. And what we want to do here is just move um, the slider here to a point where um, we start seeing some black. And in this, the black is is the 50, the areas in the image that are 50% gray. Now the first ones to appear, so for example if I move here we start appearing some dots here for example, are the ones that are closest to 50% gray. As you start moving away those are the ones that are a little bit further from it but still like 50% gray right so if you want to be exact about it you want to move your point threshold point until you start seeing a point for example here I'm not sure if you can see this but here there is a point here actually so I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK and now I'm going to zoom in to our image here to the uh, to the point here so I'm gonna really zoom in here really big so I have a great big dot here the maximum zoom and now what I want to do is with our color sampler tool, I want to sample that color. So I'm just going to click essentially here to mark this color down. So now I have a marker here showing me that this area here, this, this particular pixel is one of the closest things to 50% gray in the image. So that's all we needed from these two layers here is just to be able to mark that area. So if we throw that away, we can see that here, this color here is very close to 50% gray. So we can still stay zoomed in actually, unless you want to, you know, view where in the image it's actually finding that. And you can see that it's right there. That's a 50% gray. Who would know, right? I mean, like I said, it's, uh, if you don't want to be guessing and you want to be precise about it, Photoshop will find it for you. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to actually color correct our image. So we're going to go into um, add a, uh, an adjustment layer, add levels. And in levels, what we can do here is uh, these options here allow you to select, to, to correct your image. So for example, here if you select with the black point, you're, you're selecting the darkest part of the image and making that the darkest part of the image. This one here, the white point, making that the whitest part of the image. And you can, you can correct the exposure of the image, but you can't really correct the color. The midtone is where you can find that uh, color correction. So since we already selected um, the 50% gray, all we need to do is just click and the midtone will correct because it finds that point that is 50% gray and therefore all the other colors flow naturally. So we just gotta click, there we are, 
and we've color corrected our image. So let's uh, click OK and view the result here. There we are. So let me just do a before here, a little bit too green, right? And here's the after with the perfect color calibration. You can see that there's some natural light coming in here. It's perfectly color calibra calibrated and there was no guessing involved. Just a fine, sort of like a mathematical pinpointing tool so we can find the point in the image and apply the fix. And that's all there is to if it. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.